don't care what they say, boys don't play with dolls. <laughs> I'm not going to have a retarded gay brother. <laughs> yeah, let's... Let's go ahead and remove another sin here for all of the lines that make us laugh during these final 10 episodes. Man, oh man. They're <laughs> Come ah! ah! oh, on, Hajime, get up. Let's go home. My balls hurt. His balls are oddly hurt after being kicked in the face. Ah, don't eat his crumbs. We're not poor. Hmm? Maybe we are poor. Oddest sin of the video goes to this rank, which most definitely wouldn't hold those plates in place. <laughs> Bruh, what 11 year old girl gets up out of bed in the middle of the night to answer the damn phone? Their Sony telephone loses its cool ass Sony tag from this view, becoming a way less cool non Sony phone. It's me! I'm right behind you! You stupid bitch! No, the other way! That's it! Now you got it! <laughs> well, then that would be in front of you, not behind you. Now who's the stupid bitch? Thank goodness it wasn't serious. Hospitals are so expensive. That Plastic scab. Who? That merry, merry bitch. Everyone riding little horses in the hospital. Uh. Why is that midget staring at us? Oh, is she me? That's merry, merry. Uh. Hmm. Teleporting teacher. Even though everyone is already inside, the kid stayed outside, defying every characteristic we've come to know of him. I don't believe in that ghost. Come on, Ketra, we're going home. I said it during the first video, and I'll say it again for a group of people suffering through endless counters with ghostly apparitions, killer dolls, cursed stairs, doomed taxi drivers, and more, you'd think they'd quit not believing valid sightings all of the time. Please let her not be in here. She's definitely not here. What? After this whole time of him saying that he's been seeing that very specific ghost and her even asking the cat about it earlier on, she's only now looking into the book to check it out? No! He managed to figure out how to use the machine earlier on. I don't know if he got a ticket or whatever, but now he thinks his damn apple juice is free of charge. I can't reach the juice. <laughs> I'm too sure. Parents allow a four-year-old to head into the halls alone to get himself some free, but not actually free apple juice and potentially get kidnapped, or best case scenario, some apple juice. Guess you don't get your juice then. <laughs> you can help me, you know. Here. <gasps> I don't get it. It is free apple juice? How can the hospital afford this bill? Hmm. CGI. This is what the red blood actually is. Good. Pour some more cans. I want this cleaned up in an hour. The principal would be great at anime sins right about now. Artists. I hate kids. Spilled paint. How could he not have seen them there? Kaya! Or maybe you should call Child Murder Weekly. I hate you so much. Some random strip on the floor keeps appearing and disappearing during this entire scene, and I'm over here just being genuinely curious as to what it actually is. Okay, stop trying to look at my skirt. It's a cartoon! <laughs> oh. This janitor was asked to go and clean up the blood, and after doing that, he randomly decides that he was also asked to specifically remove and burn several of the paintings from the building. What?! Listen, I want you to meet this girl who looks just like... Where'd she... Wait! A girl who looks just like her? Who yeah. You assume she never finished her sentence. The supernatural evidence is directly in front of us. Look. Right there. E Ob's behind the camera? Ob's in front of the camera. Hey, you guys listen! <laughs> Falling to the ground related sound effects brought to you by someone hitting some musical instruments. Pupils! K hole! Seeing her rise from the side of her head. <laughs> Man, these ghosts can do some weird stuff. They're helpful locking and unlocking the taxi cab from earlier on, and now she can straight up disappear an entire cab and the person driving it. 
You're doing it too! Good luck, Heathcliff Keychain! Pinky Manicure! You're doing spells too! These... these are just... Woo! From one view, just the one nail is done, but from the next, they're all done! It must be the work of an enemy ghost or that! So, what is going on? Oh, it's just a wish. A wish? For the last and first of the lasting, no! I guess I must have just been imagining it. Whew! Just throwing this out there into the world, but my god, if I was one of those kids and this was the actual Japanese version, which is a serious anime compared to the dub, why the hell wouldn't you have asked to move away from this place considering they can hardly go a damn week without some ghost coming after them? I just clean these stupid windows too. God damn her! She weirdly calls a mirror a window like a weird weirdo. Come on, get out. And you might want to do something about your three friends sleeping like drunk sorority sluts on the porch. That's my space. Where's the long arms kink? I don't censor anymore. He oddly calls a balcony a porch like a weird weirdo. Look out, Ted. Why didn't you move? Huh? Did you see it? Did that girl? Huh? Even if this were true, you'd think he'd still be able to move out of the way of a falling pole. And not a Polish person. These people are poor. No street lamps. That's really not down to the homeowners, bruh. Damn, she's got big feet. They at least dress nice here. Judging what someone might be wearing from a single shoe. Go away! What do you want? Saying go away, but immediately following that up with a question which keeps the person there. Very inconsistent ghost! Exactly, but I found it. Where'd you go? Not hearing a scream when you're in the next room over. When you blow up the outside of a building and underneath it is just a replica of the first building you just blew up. Worst trip ever. It's not locked or anything. Assumptions! How are these people still so scared over normal stuff? Sometimes travelers tend to hide money in their hotel rooms and forget to take it with them when they check out. Behind the picture? This picture? Moving picture frames related sound effects brought to you by opening a heavy steel door. So as it turns out, they weren't frozen in place or anything, since they quite happily move when she gets a plan, and yet for like a solid minute before that, they just stood there freezing their asses off for some reason. Also though, I don't know what it was like in the Japanese sub, but they all join hands without her even saying anything. She may have said something in the sub, but I've seen it since I doubt she'd have said it. Could be wrong ultimately, but who the heck cares, am I right? Well, I couldn't come up with a single sin for this episode. There was one about the microphone in the old school rusting away, even though it was indoors, but I guess since the place is old, the rain could have come in and done that, and it's not really funny, so whatever. That was a good episode, and their dialogue is becoming more and more filled with jokes, which makes me enjoy it even more, but also makes my job harder, so let's head into episode 19. Planet, my friend, Anderson the average older driver would assume that this is some sort of a prank more than an actual headless rider. Yeah! I'm gonna do one more sin during episode 19 and if it crops up one more during episode 20 but I'm still just continually amazed at their fright over pretty mundane stuff. I mean imagine if I was sending the Japanese version where they're actually properly scared all the time over stupid stuff. I'd be going even more crazy. He's got eyes in the back of his head. No, he's got eyes in the front of his head and his head is backwards. It's like saying an owl actually has eyes in the back of their head. They don't, they turn their head around. That's not the same thing. Uh, he's after my head! Uh, no, uh, that is not it. gay! I, I need to hide it! This guy randomly assumes that the motorcycle dude was after his head, even though he still has his head. Did the ghost tell him he wanted his head? Because we weren't told that. I haven't seen this many split ends since Hillary Clinton came in here. She's been getting her hair done, like, literally all day! <laughs> Man, these towns and stuff become incredibly desolate in the evenings! <sighs> no! Oh, Jesus! 
Good job! Literally not one of them could keep their scarves on around their necks. Take cover! Higher so I can see your panties! I'm trying to save your life, you dickless halfway! Quit looking at my hands! You know, sinning just the subbed version sins, I don't know how many times the dubbed would take the piss out of this. It really deserves a genuine sim for the sheer volume of upskirt shots they put in this of what is actually meant to be like an 11 year old girl. Bro, it's so weird. There's probably like 10 instances of it. Holy shades of Hitchcock! Can I be Tippy Hedrick? Being mean to animals is always a sin. What are you two waiting for? Our boners to go down? Saying this, like the one on the bottom is able to immediately climb up. Or even the one on top. Not to mention how that's the world's smallest damn rope. What the hell? <laughs> Probably a decent time to do that last sin like I talked about before. They've seen everything scary for 20 episodes. They've already seen this guy once before now, but are still super scared. Time. Nice of him to stop attacking while she went and did her thing. We ain't lost her Grey's Anatomy. Okay, here goes with the lame score. I love how they didn't even bother with this part of the metal fence, just blending it into the wall. Ah! I ain't showing it, but I can't believe they had to end the last episode with another panty shot. Like, bruh! Nathan Byrne, Bird Without a Word, Arias Alivari, Aidan White, PK Fan, Ali 50, Ryan Anderson, Isael Caldera, Chris Harris, Yona Schaal, Manolo Saucedo Munoz, Luis Hernandez, Kim Munt, Jason Davies, Yuki Ali, Manuel Morales, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Sentimento, Jeffa 6263, Amy San, Alfredo Jimenez, Silver, Master Tank, Boogie, Kevin Nelter, Stephia, Brendan Creer, Storm 970, Mr. Waffle 64, Mongola Ninja, Kaj Borzelman, Jordan Samuels, Sean Graves, The Epic Amanda, Crimson Shadows, Kyle Farmer, Buzzbomb 3000, Adorable, Yagai 7636, Mr. Berigino,